we have this concept called a monomial. Okay, when you think about it, mono, the, the prefix mono here, it means one. So when you see mono, you should think one. And what this is basically telling you is it's one term. So a, a, a monomial is something like 17. Even the number 17 is a monomial because it's only one term. Or x by itself is because it's one term. Or x squared sitting off by itself is just one term, so it's a monomial. One half times y. They're, these are kind of glued together with multiplication, so it's one term. Um, negative 5x squared y squared. That is a monomial. So anytime you see something sitting by itself, they can be joined by multiplication, like these guys, or exponents or whatever, but if it's just one thing hanging out by itself, we call it a monomial. It means one term in algebra. Now let's compare that to something we call a binomial. What do you think binomial is going to mean? It means two terms. Think of bicycle. The prefix bi means two like bicycle, two wheels, right? So examples of binomials would be, for instance, 2x minus 7. You see, here you have a little term, and here you have another term, and they're glued together with a minus sign. So when I say it's two terms, it's two terms joined by a plus or a minus sign. So that's a binomial, right? What about 3x squared plus x? You see, you have two terms, this one and this one, and they're glued together by either a plus or a minus. That's a binomial. Negative 7ab minus b squared. Okay, This is one term. The multiplication just makes it one term. This is another term. They're glued together with this minus sign. So binomials have two terms. So now you see the difference. It's much easier to explain it now that I have everything on the board. If it's just one term hanging out by itself, we call it a monomial. If it's two terms, we call it a binomial. What do you think we're going to talk about next? Trinomials. What do you think that's going to be? It's going to be three terms joined by either a plus or a minus sign. So for instance, you have x squared plus 2x plus 3. This is a trinomial because you have a term here, a term here, and a term here, and they're joined by these plus signs. So when you see three terms joined like that, that's called a trinomial. Or what about a squared plus 4 times a times b minus 3b? This is a trinomial because it's one term, two terms, three terms joined by either pluses or minuses. So now that you have them all on the board, it's very easy. Monomial is one term, binomial is two terms, trinomial is three terms. All right, now we're going to talk about the general term, which we call polynomial. What does poly mean? The prefix poly. Poly just means many. It doesn't really mean necessarily one, two, or three, or four, or five. Poly just means many. It means more than one, is what that really means. So a polynomial is a sum of monomials. So basically, a polynomial is the general term. A, a mon, whether it's a monomial, or I should say, whether it's a binomial or a trinomial, anytime you have more than one uh, term added or subtracted together, we can call it a polynomial. So Basically, if you had, for instance, we'll give some examples, 3x squared y plus 5x uh, squared plus 4x. If I stop here, that's a trinomial, but I can keep adding terms. So now this isn't really a binomial or a trinomial. It has four terms. We don't really have a special word for that, so we just call it polynomial. So you're going to see polynomial popped up, popping up all the time. A polynomial just means two or more terms. That's all it really means. We have a special name when it's two terms, we call it a binomial. We have a special name when it's three terms, which is called a trinomial, but polynomial is a general term. I could refer to this as a polynomial if I want, because poly just means more than one term. I can refer to this as a polynomial if I want, because it means it has more than one term. And of course, when it has lots and lots and lots of terms, we also call them polynomials. We don't have special names for them. So the last example I'm going to give, for instance, is 54x to the seventh power minus 3a squared bc plus 79b squared minus 32b minus 17. 
This whole thing is called a polynomial. It doesn't have a special name because it's, it's got more than two or three terms, so we don't call it binomial trinomial. We just call it the general term called polynomial. It's got more than one term. In this case, it's got one, two, three, four, five terms. So we just call it a polynomial. Now, the last thing I'm going to do in this section is point out the concept of a coefficient. So this is a term, the first term of the polynomial. This is the next term. This is the next term. This is the next term. This is the last term. When you see the term or the idea called coefficient, coefficient is the number in front of the term. So in this case, um, 54 is the coefficient of this term. So if a test draws this, or writes this polynomial down, and they say, hey, what's the coefficient of the first term? The, the term, when you see coefficient, it just means the number. What is the number in front of the first term? And that's 54. Let me ask you, what's the coefficient of the second term? So the coefficient of this term here is negative 3 is the coefficient. And the coefficient of this term is 79. Whoops. 79 is the coefficient. And the coefficient of this term is negative 32. And the coefficient of the last term you could say is negative 17 also, but typically you only talk about coefficients when they're in front of a variable. So this is in front of b, this is in front of b squared, this is in front of a squared bc, this is in front of x to the seventh power. So if I ask you on a test, what is the coefficient of the third term? Then you would say that's term, that's term. This is the third term, the coefficient is 79. So you need to learn when reading polynomials what the coefficients are, and that's just what we're trying to learn here. So make sure you understand the difference between a monomial, binomial, trinomial, polynomial. Follow me on to the next lesson. We're going to continue discussing polynomials in algebra. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.